What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Why am I here on the freeway? Well, the reason why I'm here on the freeway making this vlog with all of this traffic and all of this noise in front of me is because I just got into an accident. Now, people right here, three other cars right here, they all got into an accident with me. Let me go into the car so I can tell you what happened. So they all got into an accident with me. Um, my car is absolutely probably the worst one out of all of them. Let me put this down. My car is the worst one out of all of them because uh, the person, so I seen the accidents happening in front of me and I had a, a lot of time in order to really be able to slow down. But uh, the people behind me obviously was distracted and so because they were distracted, um, they didn't slam on their brakes until the last minute. It, it probably was on their phone or something. I don't know. I couldn't see what they was doing. But I did look inside of my rear view, and they was on their phone or something, probably. And so as a result, they start swerving, and a bunch of other cars start swerving. And then they swerve over behind to the side of me, lose control, hit the side of my car. And um, it just slows me down for the day. Now, the one thing about me is that I never really panic, ever. And so, because I seen them swerving, I wasn't about to swerve, because I seen the people in front of me, they already had an accident. And so, if I'd have swerved over, then it would have it would have been my fault, possibly, for me swerving over and hitting somebody else over in their lane, over into the right-hand side. So, you know what I'm saying? I just stayed cool. You know, all of that, they hit me, and then they took off. Obviously, I'm, I'm assuming that they didn't have any insurance. Uh, but their car is all t tore up or whatever. And then it's, you know, three other cars in front of me. It was a car between me and the person right here. And nothing happened to their car because they actually, you know what I'm saying, avoided the accident by being able to slow down. And because I slowed down, me and them was, was paying attention to what happened in front of us because I slowed down also. And the person hit me, but I didn't panic and then hit the gas or hit the side or something like that. I just chilled out and just pulled over to the side of the road because they hit me. Uh, man, I didn't hit I didn't hit the people in front of them. They was able to salvage their car and their morning. Whereas me, I'm SOL. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting on the side of the road. Everything is messed up. It is what it is, but I'm not tripping about it because that's why I pay for insurance. So outside of the fact that uh, I am incredibly inconvenienced um, from this whole situation. Hopefully, I can get out of here within the next couple of hours so I can get back on with my day. Um, because I'm inconvenienced because of this situation, here we are. Um, but again, this is why we pay for insurance. Stuff happens. Things happen. Uh, you got to be prepared for it. But more important, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. So, you know, just because it was a hit and run on, they, on their front, doesn't mean anything to me again because that's why i pay for insurance you know what i'm saying so just you know documenting the process keeping y'all in the loop of what happens and uh it inconveniences the people that's behind us because it slows down traffic significantly because it's a whole bunch of cars now that's backed up all the way back who knows far uh called the police waiting on them to be able to come to the scene of the accident because i don't want to lead the scene of an accident uh, and plus, you know, it's good for my insurance company, but I'm not even really sure that I want this car anymore. Honestly, like it's, it's completely tow up on the driver's passenger side door. It actually doesn't look like it's tore up enough to where you would be able to total the car out. So, you know, you hold on to it. I don't know if my insurance premium go up or anything like that, but that's why we work. That's why we make money. That's why we get to the bag. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream, uh, on a millionaire morning show, so that may be a little bit of a wash, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, it depends on how long um, it takes for the police to be able to get here and then for us to be able to get tow trucks and everything like that. <sighs> so we are gonna figure it out. We're absolutely going to figure it out. I actually might still live stream. Um, I got multiple cars, so I don't need a rental. Um, I'll probably just pull out the Mercedes. I went and gassed that up last night. <laughs> That car got less than 10,000 miles on it. So I got four cars and we only using two. 
So I guess that's just the way the things shake out. And I just ordered another one. Isn't that funny? So I just ordered a 1996 Chevy Impala from Roland Museums. And I talked about it uh, on a previous video that I dropped where I was talking about beef. And so I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good space. Yeah, my Porsche is a little toe up, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably get it fixed and or or if they don't told it out, then I'll get it fixed and then I'll probably get rid of it or drive it for another six months because who knows? And then you figure it out from there. But it's a couple of different things that I want to that I, I learned from this because I think that every single thing that happens in life is a learned lesson. Number one, again, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. You can't jump off the bridge or you can't get super mad or you can't make the situation that you in exponentially worse, but you can always learn from it or it's always lessons that come along with it or it might be a blessing that come along with it, you know, as a result of however things play out, all right? That's number one. Number two, always take care of your business and always be prepared it's always exponentially worse when you don't have insurance when you don't have things taken care of when you're not on top of things you know what i'm saying and so because i'm in a, a really good space and because i'm spa i'm you know i'm straight as far as all of my paperwork my license you know what i'm saying a lot of people be out here driving dirty i don't have to worry about that it's just easier yeah it's inconvenient as far as what it is that you have planned for your day but it's significantly easier because you know, you know that you've taken care of business and you're on top of things and you don't have things to you don't have the same type of worries as everybody else have um, when you're on top of things. I was talking to Rita and she said, Anton, do you want me to come get you? Whatever, so on and so forth. I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? I just catch an Uber. I'm not that far away from the office. Uh, I can hopefully catch an Uber, you know, over to the office. And then uh, I don't know. The neighborhood seem a little bit shifty. I can catch an Uber over into the office and then I'll catch an Uber back home and then I'll go from there. So I'm not tripping about it. It's cool. Does it inconvenience me based off of what it is that I think that I'll be doing today? Probably. Absolutely. Um, but that's just life. Life happens to everybody and everyone. And so I have to be able to make the adjustments as you see fit and then you keep it moving and you keep it pushing you pay up pull out another car you order another car you buy another car and you keep it moving from there rita's texting me now because you know how women are women are shifty and women are nervous as usual but we keep it moving so nothing changes slightly inconvenience for the day we'll move some things around uh i still might live stream but i might live stream a little bit later than usual so i love you guys i appreciate you um make sure that you tap in Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay on top of things and make sure you stay on top of your business. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Last but not least, last but not least, um, make sure you get that T. Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. And the sun is out. God is good. <laughs>